Hey guys, what is up? This is Cody, or x Cody. How's it going today? This is one of two of today's video. That's right, I'm gonna have a double upload for the first time, and I don't even how know how long. But on today's first video, I have a life story to tell you guys today that happened a few years ago. I have a life story to tell you guys today that I could label smoking weed gone wrong. But this life story has quite a crazy ending, so without further ado, let me get into it. Back in the day, well, whenever I say back in the day, it makes me sound like I'm old. About two or three years ago, this was back when my father did not like it when I smoked. This was back when it was a rebellion period in my life where I wanted to smoke weed, but my dad didn't want me to. I still did anyways. So every time I'd go out and smoke, I'd get this whole argument with him. So this one night, I wanted to not have that argument. I wanted to avoid that. So what did I do? I put my full Club Penguin ninja suit on. I didn't just have the black belt. I beat the motherfucking sensei. So I open my door, make sure it doesn't creak. Stepping on the floorboards, making sure to avoid the ones that creaked. Because I've lived in the same place for 10 years. I know which ones do. I'm keeping going, keeping going. Walking past my dad's bedroom. Kind of peeking. Hear if he's snoring. He's snoring. Everything's good. Coast is clear. And I finally get to the back door. But this back door, is it isn't like you're in the clear, man. It's literally step one. Getting past not making any noise is step zero. So we're now at step one. Because this door creaks like a motherfucker. This door is like a dead giveaway. It's like an alarm system. It's got that cranky-ass doorknob. And when you open it, it's like... The whole shebang, man. That old creaky door. But I kind of had a system, because I do this quite frequently. I had a system on how I'd open this door. I'd open the fucking doorknob, and I'd just whip it open really quick. It'd be like, Arr! and I'd just stand there, silent, waiting for a minute. Coast was clear. So I got behind the door, closed it really quick, Arr! slowly turned the doorknob, got outside. You know, as soon as you get outside after doing something that tense, something that anxiety-filled, the nice summer breeze was nice. It was a good, relaxing feeling. You know, you still got that thought, oh, the parent's gonna wake up, oh, my dad's gonna wake up. You still got that going on, but it's a moment of relaxation. So I sit down, pack a bowl, feeling lit, got one earbud in, having myself a good summer night. So a little bit of a backstory. Like I said, I've lived in the same spot for over 10 years. And during this 10 years of time, me and my father would actually go to the back window, which was kind of near where I was sitting outside. And I say really old as in it had a little bit of gray hair. I think it was blind because I think his eyes were kind of white. And this thing had no tail, man. Like, it had no tail. Like, it had a little bit of a stump, but it didn't really have a tail. But every time we'd see it at night, we'd always, you know, throw a little piece of bread, whatever, stale food we got. Nothing out of the ordinary really happened with that. But I definitely wanted to put that into the story because when I was smoking there, when I was sitting there that one night, I was smoking the weed and I finished the one bowl. Nothing, nothing happened. But when I was packing the second bowl, because when you go out there after doing all that, you don't just want to get a little high. You want to get fucking annihilated baked. So I'm sitting there packing the second bowl and I'm, I'm feeling lit at this point because back then I didn't really have too much of a tolerance. A couple bowls would get me fucking on another dimension, like like I'm flying through the solar system in Interstellar, man. And I hear this rustle in the leaves beside me, because there's two bushes in, beside me, and I hear a little leaf rustle action going on in the, in the bush to the right of me, and I, I don't think it's anything, because, you know, the wind was blowing a little bit, got the summer breeze going on, and I remember I lit the bowl, and I'm just chilling there, and I hear the noise again, and I once again think it's the wind, and about halfway through the bowl, I look down at my feet, and I see a patch of white fur. And, I, and I'm like, holy shit, what the fuck is that? And keep in mind, there wasn't any time to react to this. There wasn't anything I could have done but just sit there and look at it. Because keep in mind, you're in this position. It's night outside. You're sitting outside on the steps, smoking weed. And all of a sudden, there's just an animal right there. And you don't know what it is. So all I did was just look at it. And I'm automatically assuming it's this raccoon that I've seen throughout my childhood. But then I take another look and I see a fucking tail. So I'm looking down at this and it doesn't just have a tail, it has a black and white tail. And I'm like, holy shit, there's a skunk at my feet. And at that point, I was frozen. I was dead frozen. My heart was... Because I, I was like, holy shit, that thing's gonna fucking spray me if I even move. What the fuck do I do? And I was just completely silent. And it's looking up at me, smelling me, you know, giving me the old smell. What's this motherfucker doing? Smoking something that smells like me? What's going on here? 
Better go tell my other friends. And, you know, kind of smells around, sniffs my feet a little bit. The fur was going up against, like, the fur of the tail was going up against my shoes, man. I, I can't express the terror that was going through my body at this point. But it keeps on going. It walks away real slow, like, and I, I'm talking seconds after I know I'm in the clear. Seconds. I grab all my shit, and I fucking jolt inside, and I slam the door behind me. There's two doors. It's not just one door to my house. There's two doors. So I slam the first door, and I look outside through the window, and I see this I see this skunk fucking running away. And I'm like, oh, holy shit, dude. Holy shit. That was more intense than fucking leaving the house. And I'm thinking to myself, god damn it, I gotta go back inside now. So I open the door. Go inside. Fucking back inside. And I'm sitting there like, holy shit, I can't believe I just did that. Everything's okay. And I go to the window where me and my dad would go and look out to the raccoon. And that shit smelled like skunk so bad, man. Like, so bad. And of course you're thinking, Cuddy was probably the weed you just smoked. But nah, dude. There is a distinct difference between skunk and that sticky, icky Mary Jane. So I avoided getting sprayed by a skunk. But that shit was fucking intense. Just smoking a bowl outside by yourself at night. And you look down and there's a goddamn skunk. A fucking skunk. Maybe you guys have been sprayed by a skunk. Maybe your dog has run outside, going to the bathroom, taking a shit. Psst, fucking sprayed by a skunk. Now you gotta bathe him in a bath of tomato sauce. Has that ever happened to you guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully, that hasn't happened to you in the comments. But this is a fucking big world, man. Crazy amount of people from all over the place. Had crazy experiences. Sneaking out of my house was, was one of the scariest things I ever did when it came to like smoking weed and things I had to do to in order to smoke weed and be secretive about it. I definitely do not miss those days and I'm sure some of you guys watching are in those days and I feel for you man, I feel for you. But regardless, hopefully you guys enjoyed this life story. Be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe for more content if you guys want to hear more life stories and smoking videos from Chaboy X Kode. Have yourself a snazzy day, stay high, stay lifted. Peace.